welcome to another video a walk on the wild side or should it be a drive on the wild side this is a video with a difference it's a driving video for you today this is a bit of a, a test video to see what you think it's not a very nice day today so what I thought I'd do is I'd come out and I'd have a drive around and I'd try one of these videos for a change and see what you think Okay, now the subject I've chosen for this driving video is one of Blackpool's two largest council estates, and it's the Mearside council estate. I'll be driving around today, the second largest council estate in Blackpool. And as with a lot of council estates, it's had a bit of a bad reputation down the years, but it's had its ups and downs. Uh, I'm fairly familiar with it because my grandma and granddad lived here back in the 70s and I think it was into the 80s as well. Uh, so I'm fairly familiar with Mesa. We're now on Langdale Road, which is the main road which takes you right through the estate. All of the roads are named after, well, most of the roads are named after places in the Lake District, I think. Yeah, so this is Langdale Road, the main road, and there didn't used to be speed humps down here when I grew up. So I've done quite a bit of growing up in Mearside. So I thought I'd take you around and uh, see what you think. How does it compare to uh, council estates where you are? So it is a pretty big and sprawling estate, and it has changed quite a bit since I grew up around here. Um, we're just coming up now to where the shops are. There's like a, a little sort of precinct just up here. As you can see, it's quite busy as well for buses. There's so many buses. You are not stuck for buses here in Mearside. There's literally queues of buses coming down here. But we're now just coming up to a bit of a green on the left-hand side. There's a road called Kentme, and on the right-hand side you can see that there's like a block of new flats there recent, fairly well I say recent, probably in the last 10, 15 years or so, and there's there's a load of shops there as well underneath. So this is like the main the main shopping area in Mearside. And now we're just heading now. There's a road on the right hand side called Bowness. That's I'm fairly familiar with Bowness because it's it's just off there where my grandma and granddad lived. They lived on Brand Street Road and I'll be taking a look down Brand Street Road. It's, it's quite a narrow road but then again most of these roads on the estates are. But now as you look ahead now we see the big feature here as you come into Blackpool if you come in the back way the old way in the Preston, Preston New Roadway you get to see Little Martin Windmill. There it is there doesn't it look amazing? Little Martin Windmill right there yeah so that's a big feature here on the edge of the estate. We're right on the edge of town, of course, so if you're coming to Blackpool, on the back road, Mearside is probably the first thing you'll see. If you come in by Eden Way, you won't see Mearside. But yeah, so we're now heading round, and what I'm gonna do is if I head straight down to this road down here, we'll get to the big Tesco's. But I'm not gonna go that way. I'm going to turn here. I think this road here is Brand Street Road. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> There's no... I think it's Brand Street Road. <laughs> uh, so this is Brand Street Road. This is the road that I did quite a bit of growing up on. You know, because my grandma and granddad lived here in a flat uh, for quite a few years. So we did used to play out a lot. And, yeah, it was a bit, a bit rough. There was some... Uh, <laughs> there, was, there was quite a few incidents we saw, but they never really had any problem. In fact, we're just coming up now to the junction with Bowness, which we went past before, and just on this left-hand side, before we get to the junction, is where my grandma and granddad lived, on this left-hand side here. They lived in a downstairs flat, just there on the left-hand side. That's where they used to live. And what I'm going to do now is I'll turn left here. Now, this road has been blocked off. It was quite a while ago when it was blocked off, but we used to sort of knock around down here. There's a, 
little centre here now, I don't know what this place is here, but they built a whole load of new flats in here. Look, I'll just show you. Can you new houses, sorry. Sit, look at these fancy houses here. They've all got like um, solar panels on the on the roofs. This is all wasteland when we grew up here, yeah. But now they've got these fancy houses. What do you think? Anyway, I'll just come out of here now. There's a bit of a community centre here, thing here. I don't think this was here when we were growing up, but I'll just take you down to the end. I just want to show you down here. It's a dead end now. You used to be able to come out onto um, Clifton Road, but now this is like a little skate park on the left here. There's big fields to the right hand side and left hand side of me here, plenty of places to play. And as I come down to the end, we've got where the old gasometers used to be, straight ahead there. Straight ahead is where the gasometers used to be. And if I turn slightly, can you see this building here? That is Blackpool's new police station. Look at that, isn't it fancy? As seen on Stay Close, the Netflix drama, Stay Close. There you go. It's actually named, the road, that road that leads in there is named after Jerry Richardson, who was the, the highest ranking police officer to be killed in the line of duty here in Blackpool when he was shot dead by an armed robber. I think it was Harry Sewell, fat man, Harry. Harry Sewell that killed him. Uh, I think it was the late 60s or something like that. But yeah, that's uh, that, that road there that goes into the police station is named after Jerry Richardson, so there you go. Anyway, I'm just going to turn around now, if I can. <laughs> Not a whole lot of room. <laughs> you get to see the playing fields here. So if you look over, as I turn around now, can you see that massive playing fields? I just wonder, you know, how long will we have these fields for before they decide to build houses on them. So there you go, that was a little look down here. We've got playing fields on the right hand side as well. So I'm going to head up here now, back to um, Bronstree Road, and then I'll take a left and we'll head further down. I'm not going to show you all of the because uh, all of the estate because that would take a bit too long but I'll just show you what I think is uh, interesting so we're heading back down Bransbury Road now heading towards a road called Burkside Way and that's a road that's got a green in the middle of it so it's like a typical council estate really very narrow roads lots of rat runs you know lots of places for criminals to <laughs> to uh, make their getaway. But this is Burtside Way. I'm just gonna come into Burtside Way now. I'll show you this road. It's quite unique. It's got a big green in the middle of it. Burtside Way. Here in Mearside, Blackpool. So I hope you liked the driving video. I'll do some more of these if you want. Uh, this is just a bit of a test one, this one, but uh, I thought this would be a good test to drive around my side. So what I'm going to do now is I will head straight over there to Seathwaite Avenue. We'll have a look over there, shall we? And then I'll come back round. We'll see what's going on up here, shall we? It is a big estate, but it's not as big as Grange Park. Yeah, Grange Park is um, bigger. Let me know what, how it compares to council estates uh, where you are. Sorry if it's a, not that clear a picture because it's raining and uh, the window keeps getting uh, a bit messed up. But yeah, this is Seathwaite Avenue. And if I carry on right up here, we sort of get to where it kind of blends in with the, the private houses. This is the very edge of the estate up here. We're, in, we're now up to Preston New Road here. So if I turn right here now, this is, we're now at Preston New Road, which is the road you come into Blackpool. 
or go out of if, if you choose to go this way. And all these houses along here are, they'd be a bit more expensive because these are all private houses. Uh, so on the left hand side over there used to be the premium bonds building, Ernie. Do you remember the random, the electronic random number gener generator, Ernie, was right over there. It was that black and white building that looked like something out of James Bond. Yeah, so there you go. That's where Ernie was and they're building a new housing estate there now. So there you go. Yeah, so this is Grisdale. We're just crossing Grisdale. There's a shop over there on the left hand side. Can you see that used to be, well, it's, it's a mobility shop now, but it used to be at, um, a convenience store that. I think it was a house at one time as well. You can tell it was a house. But we're just going past some flats now on the right hand side. And there's a bit of work going on down here. We're just coming up to where the Toby Carver is. That's the Toby Carvery up there. There's a bit of work going on around here, as you can see. So I'm now going to turn right. I'm not quite sure what road this, this is called, but we're going to head down here. It's kind of part estate and part private. So we'll head down here and we'll be coming back now. There's some big aerials in the back garden of that house there. Yeah. You know what, I'm just going to head back this way before we head back to the uh, main road again, Langdale Road. I just want to show you something down this road here. Now this is one of the private houses, not part of Mearside. This is Bowfell Close and, and there's a house down here that's got a right lean on it. Wait till you see it. Can you see that house straight ahead now? Look at that there. Can you see that? Is that house leaning or is that house leaning? <laughs> wow. Well, that's the thing about Blackpool, you see, is that um, we're actually on a bit of a hill here and there's some flats at the top of this street here which are connected with near side. But yeah, Blackpool does have a bit of a problem with subsidence, as you can see. And that particular house there does have a pretty pronounced uh, tilt on it, yeah. So there you go. But that's just one of the things about Blackpool. In fact, my house, whether I moved into first in Blackpool, had a, a pretty bad lean on it, but I had no problem getting mortgage on it. And the uh, the substance has happened in the in the olden days. So now we're heading back towards Langdale Road again. And what I'll do is, we'll head back down that way, past the shops again, and you get a look from the other side. So th this is the, uh, the main shopping area here. There used to be, I'm sure if there's a chippy in there. Oh yeah, there is a chippy there, yeah. Shops in there. So there you go. Premier Inn, Mearside Butties, there's a well pharmacy got some flats there either side. So we're heading back down Langdale Road towards the main road now. And now we're heading back. This rain's getting much heavier. Sorry if that, I've got the microphone banging around a bit. Burkside way on the left. Now this road here on the left now is called Deepdale and this takes us to, this takes us back to the main road again. If we go up here, it takes us to Clifton Road. So let's have a look on around the outside on Clifton Road, shall we? It's quite industrial up here. We'll go past the police station. So we're now coming right round the edge of the estate. This is now Clifton road. Like I say, it's very industrial. Lots of uh, uh, businesses around here. That road there, if you turn right, takes you onto the motorway and gets you out of Blackpool if you want to go out of Blackpool. You can see that big field on the left there. On the right hand side is a massive factory called Nutrition Group PLC. Got a wash and go there on the right. Just coming up to where the gas works used to be. The big gasometers. Who remembers the big gasometers? I do. They're not there anymore. And now on the right hand side is the police station. And that's that road on the left where we were, Bowen Air. So there's a police station on the right hand side. 
and just up here is the big Tesco and next and Matalam, all that up here. I'm going to head straight on and we're going to go right to the other side of the estate. A big playing field on the left hand side there. We've got a massive business up here called Glasdens. They're responsible for making plastics and they make a lot of the bins in Blackpool Glasdens up there on the right hand side. Can you see just ahead on the right? Now this area here being built on here and if you've got an electric car there are chargers in here. Look at this electric chargers in my side. I wonder if people try to charge their mobile phones on me. <laughs> So this is like a bit of a turnaround for the buses. Well, the buses used to come in here to turn around. I'm not sure if they still do, actually. There's a road up here called Troutbeck. If I turn right now and I turn up this road here called Troutbeck, in fact, I'm not sure if I can. Actually. Oh, yes, I can, I think, because uh, they are building all new houses here. They got rid of a load of flats. And look at this now, all new houses, look. Yeah, fancy, aren't they? Yeah, there was, there was flats here before and uh, they've knocked them all down. So look at these fancy houses they're building now, see? Progress. Mayside is changing. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the, the old flats were not very good at all. They probably had asbestos in them and damp and all sorts. But these new houses we've got here now are right fancy. So now we're coming up to the other side. We're on the other side of the windmill now. Coming back up to Langdale Road. We're now back up to uh, Langdale Road again. And I am going to turn right. The windmill on my right hand side. Yep, so we're now back on Langdale Road. Okay, I just cut out a little bit of Langdale Road that you'd already seen before. Anyway, we're now heading back down Langdale Road towards the where I started the video at the other end of Mayside and uh, there's some new stuff just up here. I think there used to be a church up here. There's a school on the right hand side, Mayside Primary. There's a road on the left called Tarnside and I think they might be doing some work up here. There's a road on the left called Borrowdale with some small flats, got some small houses here. Yeah, there's a church on the left. Church here on the left, I'm not sure what it's called. But yeah, we are just coming up now. Oh, it's called the Freedom Centre. Yeah, it's called the Freedom Centre, that. So we're now just coming up back onto Clifton Road again. And that's where I'm going to end this video of Mayside. How about that? A drive on the wild side. I hope you like it. And I'll do more of these driving videos if you're interested. We're now just coming up to... Uh, Oh, the rain's getting heavier again. <laughs> I'm glad I took a drive today instead of walking around or going on my bike. So anyway, there you go. I'm going to end it there now. I hope you liked the video. A drive on the wild side through Mearside in Blackpool. Blackpool's second largest council estate. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one. Oh, this rain's terrible.